Hi, my name is Cindy Evers and I will be your presenter today. I am going to present to you the standards required by YWM in the creation of file directory trees on your C drive, which is on your hard drive, and on the J drive, which is the network drive. Today we are going to use the C drive in this example. What I would like to do is click the, uh, the Windows icon in the left hand corner of your screen. Then you would click the computer and this will bring up a screen that shows the computer, your C drive, up here at the top. So we will double click this. You'll notice that there are already files created and these are system files and we will not be um, altering these you need to leave these alone so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a finance data 2012 directory and this is going to hold all your financial data that you will be using for 2012 so what you'll need to do is right click here in the middle of the screen go down to new go over to folder and then once you've clicked folder you'll notice that it's highlighted up here and what we're going to do is we're going to name this folder finance data 2000 and we're going to capitalize the beginning letters in each of the significant words which will be finance and then data will be capitalized in 2012 we always name the file with the year that it's created because we want to know when we can get rid of this file because we have a seven year retention. So now what I want you to do is double, double click on finance data and in here we're going to create two other directories. One's going to be called the balance sheet for 2012 and one's going to be called income statements. So we'll create the balance sheet, we'll right click, go down to new and go up to folders and then this one we're going to call balance sheet 2012. As you notice, the B and the S are capitalized and it's got the year that it's created. And now we're going to do income statement. So we'll go down to New and over to Folder. And we'll call this one Income Statement. Okay, now if we click into the income statement directory, we could put income statements here for multiple companies, but we want to really make this organized. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it company orientated. So we're going to create a folder for Janice Company. So we'll go down and do the same thing, the new, the folder, and we'll call this Janice. And you will also on this one put the 2012. That way we know that that is there's just 2012 data that's in here. And so then we would click here on Janice and we'd be able to put all the income statement information here and all of your backup material. And you'll notice that this is the tree. You have your C drive and in it you have your financial data 2012 which is your primary folder. Then you've got your secondary folder called income statements and then you have your Janus company which is where you will put all the pertinent data for this company. Now to get back instead of drill, going to this C drive and drilling back down you can use your back arrow here to go back and you can go into balance sheet and you can do the same thing and create oops, I hit income statement balance sheet and you can create a Janus directory here now remember, when you create your file directories, you have to follow the standards that are set up by YWM. That each folder can be no longer than 30 characters long. The first letter in each word, significant word, must be capitalized. The folder will need to have the date created attached to it and each of your subfolders will need to be prepared in the same manner and they must always contain the date 
and these are a list of characters here that you cannot use in your file creation on either your hard drive or your or the network drive so do we have any questions from the audience no questions well if you come up with anything that you'd like to ask me about you can email me at cindy at ywm.com thank you